y'all learn with the uh, the soldier was just teaching y'all? What y'all learn being up here? Jesus' skin is black. You agree with that? You agree Jesus is black? Now, why is that important? Why, why would we be teaching that today? Give me Proverbs 23 and 7. Why is that important? Because they're lying to us in society. You agree with that? Now, he showed you biblically that Christ is a so-called black man, correct? Was that his own opinion? That was the Bible, right? Read Proverbs 23 and 7. Now, I'm going to show y'all why that's important in these last days. Now, we understand that our Lord and Savior looks just like us. It affects us mentally and psychologically as a people because you got to understand. Y'all know about slavery, right? What happened to us during the time of slavery? We were humiliated. That's what you said? Yes, we were humiliated. But give me some things that happened to us in slavery. What did they do to us? We were beaten, right? Did they not take our children and, and sell them amongst one another? That's why we have these last names. Johnson, Brown, uh, uh, Wright, Jenkins. It comes from our slave masters. And they beat this image into us. They beat it into us. They taught us Christianity. That's why we go after Seven Day Adventists, Mormonism, Baptists, Pentecostal. Whatever our slave masters were, that's what we were. They beat the white image of Jesus Christ into us. But Proverbs 23 and 7. I'm going to show you why that's important. Read that. Proverbs chapter 23, verse 7. Read. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Read it again. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. The Bible says, for as he thinketh in his heart, the heart is referring to the mind. I want y'all to pay attention. The heart is referring to the mind. The Bible just said, for as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Now I'm going to ask y'all this. Who leads in black on black crime? We do, right? Blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. We, we lead in the highest murder rate amongst one another. Why? Because we don't know that our Lord and Savior look just like us. Us believing that Christ is a so-called white man breathes the spirit of hatred within us. We wouldn't look at one another and see Christ within one another. We wouldn't love one another. We would have that hatred that's perpetuated that you see today. That's why we lead in the highest murder rate, the highest crime rate. That's why your brother would be so quick to rob you for your sneakers, for your chains. To commit adultery with your girl. Why? Read that again. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Because the Lord said, for as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. So I know y'all brothers have to have questions. Y'all have to have questions. Do y'all not go to the church? Have y'all ever been expo exposed to the church in your lives at all? You've never been to the church. That's good. Don't ever go to the church. Because they're teaching us lies in there. But you, you said you've been to the church. What's some things that you've learned in church? Say it again. Stuff that our God, that we're not talked about. Meaning what? Explain. Because I want to show you that everything that we taught in the church is a lie. Everything that we believe in has to come from the Bible. Give me our First John 2 and 15. First John chapter 2 and verse 15. Everything that we believe in has to come from the Bible. We cannot believe what man says. We have to stop believing in the Christian pastor and believe what God is telling us. Believe in the Bible. God said, blessed is he that readeth. We have to read the Bible and stop being deceived in these last days as a people. Read that, 1 John 2 and 15. The book of 1 John, chapter 2 and verse 15. I want our young brothers to pay attention because the attack, the spiritual warfare that we in, they're coming for the younger generation. Where are who they're coming for? They're pushing adultery and fornication where? Amongst the black community, the Hispanic communities to get what? The youth. They're coming for the youth. So the young men today, you two young brothers have to stand up to resurrect your people. Y'all have to be out here teaching the word of God to breathe life into your people. The same way you learn that Christ is black, bro, you learn that Christ is black, there's more brothers and sisters that de don't know that Christ is a so-called black man. And that affects us as a people. That affects how we deal with one another. Read that, 1 John chapter 2 and verse 15. The book of 1 John chapter 2 and verse 15. Bro, this is the most important information you're going to hear in your life. Why? Because the word of God, if you apply it, is going to save your life. Read that. Love not the world. Read it again. Love not the world. The Bible says love not the world. What's some things that's in the world? I'm interacting with your brothers because I want to see where your mind is at. The Bible says love not the world. What's some things that's in the world? Money. Okay. What you got? Drugs. Drug. That's a good one. What else? Adultery. Good. Do y'all have girlfriends? Y'all got girlfriends? 
You got a flyer? Look on the back of that flyer, bro. On the back of that flyer is the contact information where you could come and congregate. In these last days, we have to come together as a nation and keep God's commandments as the Israelites. So don't hear this information today, bro. Go back home and continue in your sin. Proverbs 20 and 24, real quick. I want you to understand that God bringing you here today, that was of God. God wanted you to hear this word today. You are marked. You hearing this word of God and not doing it, the Lord will bring judgment upon you. You have to keep God's commandments now. Read that. The book of Proverbs, chapter 20, verse 24. Man's goings are of the Lord. Read it again. Man's goings are of the Lord. God said man's goings are of the Lord. So the Lord wanted you to be here today at this specific time to hear the word of God from the prophets. Why? To save your life. To pull you out, whatever lust that you may be in in the world, whatever religion that you may follow after, God wants us to come out of that. Come back to our God-given nationality as the Israelites and keep his commandments. That's, right. That's why the Lord led you here today. You understand right. that? Yeah. I know you got to go, bro. I can tell you been looking at your phone. But read the, the back of that flyer and congregate. Okay. It's going to save your life, bro. Keep God's commandments. Right. You understand that? Yeah. All right. You good. Go ahead, bro. All right. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verse 19. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death. Read it again. I have set before you life and death. So, brother, I understand that you're young. How old are you? You're 15 years old. All right. So the Lord is calling you now at 15 years old. You know how many people that woke up today that didn't get to see life? God took your life. God brought you here today to hear the word of God at 15 years old to repent and keep his commandments. It's many brothers and sisters that, that did not get the opportunity to hear God's word. God said he set before us life and death. Life if we keep God's commandments as the other brother was teaching. If we would have kept God's commandments, we would have been set above, high above all nations. We wouldn't be in oppression. You wouldn't see murder amongst our people. You wouldn't see selling the drugs, single parent households. We would not see these things, but we broke God's commandments. God said he set before us life and death. Read. I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing, therefore choose life. So God is telling you this day, brother, to choose life. Because just because you're 15, that don't mean nothing. 15, not, this is a perfect age to repent and keep God's laws. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.